Hi, I'm Ted Halbach, coach of the University of Wisconsin-Madison Dairy Cattle Judging Team. I'm a huge supporter of competitive judging because of the life skills it teaches students. Students who judge learn how to formulate quick, accurate decisions. It also improves powers of observation, organizational skills, the ability to solve problems, and learning to communicate ideas. Because of these skills, Judging team members are highly sought after by employers. In a recent survey of college judging team alumni, when asked how judging programs had helped them personally, the most common response was communication skills. Other frequent answers were confidence, animal evaluation, and decision making. Most of us know of people who find it frightening hard to make a brief speech or others who worry about every decision they have to make. We meet people who lack confidence or self-esteem almost daily. Many of these people are extremely bright and well-educated, but they've missed the training and the experience available to every young person who goes out for the judging team. This videotape provides you with samples of high-scoring collegiate oral reasons given by members of the University of Wisconsin-Madison Dairy Cattle Judging Team. We recommend you use the 2008 Hordes Dairyman Cow Judging Contest picture sheets to follow along with our students as they present their reasons. After viewing the tape, try your hand evaluating the classes, organizing your notes, and finally giving a set of oral reasons yourself. Here are some tips to keep in mind as you watch the DVD. First and foremost, any discussion of dairy cattle reasons requires the use of accurate, meaningful terminology. When giving a set of reasons, it is necessary to use comparative phrases and expressions that are easily understood clearly by the listener. Simple is always good when giving oral reasons. Since a variety of terms is just as important in reasons as it is in conversation, it's also important to develop an extensive vocabulary of dairy cattle terms. Learning this terminology is a gradual process, one that takes time and hearing others talk about cows. No doubt accuracy is the most important factor in any set of reasons. Being accurate in your evaluation of the animal and the class is critical when, re when preparing reasons. Lies simply lose you points. Accuracy is also affected by knowing exactly what each phrase or term means before using it. I listen to far too many students who attempt to memorize the reason that they intend to present. Learn to remember the cattle in the class, not your notes. Be able to visualize them in the order you have them placed. Develop a mental image of the strengths and weaknesses of each of the animals while you take notes it'll be much easier to recall exactly how the cattle looked than some term or phrase you tried to memorize to include in your reasons. Finally, organize your reasons so the most important factors that influence a placing are discussed first. When settling on a final placing, you need to problem solve according to the priorities established by the PDCA Dairy Cow Unified Scorecard. However, it's always the most significant and most obvious differences you need to see in a pair that must be the focus of your reasons. How many of these differences should you discuss? What's adequate detail? My advice to my students is that if you're going to give a cow advantages in the udder, be sure to comparatively mention each of the parts of the udder that give her that advantage. Keep in mind that even though you may mention several elements of the udder, 
This discussion would only count as just one of the two or three statements made in favor of the placing. For each pair, list the most important reason or key difference for your placing first, and then proceed to lesser important reasons. Also, be sure to always make at least one grant statement for the lower placing animal. Well, that concludes my tutorial. Good luck with judging this season, and I hope you enjoy listening to my students' presentations. On Wisconsin. CBAD is my placing for this class of brown Swiss four-year-old cows. In my top pair, C logically places over B using her decided advantage in dairiness. She's sharper over her withers, more sharply chiseled down her top line, more refined and open in her rib, cleaner about her hips, pins, and thurls, and more incurving in the thigh. Moreover, she's wider in her udder, has a stronger, smoother blending fore udder, has more definition of seam, and has more width, bloom, and capacity to her rear quarters. Additionally, she's cleaner through her hock that has a more correct set because of B's straighter leg. To tip the scales even further, she's taller at the point of the withers, higher in her chine, more upstanding in her front end, deeper in her heart, and keeps her tail placed more neatly between her pins. I admit that B has more levelness on her utter floor because of C's heavy rear quarters and has a more correct teat placement, noticing C's wide teats. Next, in my middle pair, B places over A using her advantage in udder, having a higher rear udder attachment, being especially fuller at the top of her rear quarters, and having a more correct teat shape and placement, noticing A's wide cone-shaped teats. She's also much taller at the point of the withers, longer from pole to pins, is stronger in her loin, and keeps her tail placed more neatly between the pins. Additionally, she steps down on a much stronger pastern. I admit that the light-colored cow has a longer, smoother blending fore udder, has a wider rear udder, has more definition of seam, and has much more depth to her heel. It is A's advantage in feet and legs that places her over D in my closer bottom pair. She has a more correct thorough placement, keeping her legs placed more squarely underneath her, is cleaner through her hock, and has more depth of heel. Additionally, she has a wider rear udder and has more balance through all four quarters, noticing the light left rear quarter on D. She also has more overall style and balance, being much harder down her top line and having more depth of barrel. On the other hand, the dark dairy cow keeps us a close placing as she is much more clean cut throughout, is a taller and longer cow, and although I admire Dee's dairiness, I feel justified in placing her at the bottom of the class because she lacks the style and correctness of feet and legs to merit a higher placing. These then are my reasons for placing this class of brown Swiss four-year-old cows CBAD. Two one four three is my placing for this class of Jersey aged cows. The two best uttered cows sort themselves to the top of the class today, and two gets a nod over one, being a more clean cut feminine cow. She is longer and leaner through the head and neck, more sharply chiseled down the top, and is carrying less condition over hooks, pins, and thurls. She also is straighter through the hock, noticing the sickle leg of one, and also has an advantage in udder, having a deeper udder cleft and teats that hang more nearly plumb. I admit that one is deeper in the heart and wider through the chest floor and carries its width back through the hooks, pins, and thurls. Next, in a logical middle placing, one goes over four using her definite advantage in udder. She has more bloom and capacity throughout her udder with a higher, wider rear udder and a longer, smoother blending fore udder that tacks more tightly into the body wall. Additionally, she is more angular cow, being taller and more upstanding at the point of withers with a longer sweeping rib. I admit that the dark cow has more depth and spring to both the fore and rear rib. Finally, in an easy bottom placing, four goes over three using her advantage in balance and style. She is more nearly level from hooks to pins, criticizing three for having high pins. 
She also has more depth, spring, and sweep to both the fore and rear rib, and tracks straighter on her rear set of feet and legs, noticing the toe out on three. Additionally, she has a stronger udder cleft and a longer forerudder attachment. While I admire the height and width to the rear udder on three, I feel justified in leaving her last today because she lacks the overall youthfulness of udder and style throughout to merit a higher placing. These then are my reasons for placing this class of Jersey aged cows 2143. Two four one three is my placing in this class of Jersey four-year-old cows. Two leads out the class today a handy winner as she wears the best udder, and she uses that advantage in udder to place over the light-colored cow. Having more bloom and capacity while having a much higher, wider, and fuller rear udder attachment that's especially fuller at the top of her rear quarters. She also has more extension of fore udder that blends more smoothly into the body wall. Furthermore, she has more depth of both fore and rear rib and is longer and more nearly level from hooks to pins in light of the low pins on fore. To go even further, she has a more centralized thorough placement, noticing that fore tends to keep her thoroughs too far back. I'll admit that fore is freer of condition and wears a more youthful udder with a much deeper crease. Then, it's those advantages in youthfulness of udder which help fore place over one in my next pair. She wears her udder much higher above the hocks and has a more well-defined crease. Moreover, she steps down on a much more correct set of feet and legs, having a more correct set to the hock, faulting the extremely sickled hock on one. She also steps down on a stronger pastern, complemented by a shorter toe and a deeper heel. To go even further, she blends more harmoniously from neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel, being especially tighter at the point of elbow. No doubt, one has more depth, spring, sweep, and openness of both fore and rear rib, and is a taller and longer cow, but especially longer from hooks to pins. Finally, one places over three on her tremendous advantage in dairiness and angularity. She is cleaner, leaner, and more feminine about the head and neck, more sharply chiseled over her withers and shine, more prominent about her hooks, thurls, and pins, more incurving in her thigh, and has more openness and slant to her rib. In addition, she has a more correct teeth size and shape, faulting the large, wide front teats on three. To tip the scales even further, she is a taller and longer cow, having more length of bone while also being wider in her thurls. No question, three stands on a more correct set of feet and legs, having a much straighter set to the hock, a stronger pastern, and a deeper heel. And although I, although I admire the height, width, and fullness of rear udder on three, I feel justified in leaving her at the bottom of the class, for she lacks the dariness and femininity to merit a higher placing in this class. These then are my reasons for placing this class of Jersey four year olds 2413. Two, 2134 is my placing in this class of Guernsey four year old cows. The red cow sorts herself to the top of the class because she is the most balanced cow wearing the best udder. Two uses that advantage in udder to place over one in my top pair. Two is much higher, wider, and fuller in her rear udder and has more length and extension to her fore udder. Additionally, she is stronger and has a more well-defined udder cleft. Still further, two is much less set to her hock and she is stronger in her pastern and has a steeper foot angle. Moreover, she is wider in her front end and she carries that width on back to her hooks, pins, and thurls. Still further, she has more spring to both fore and rear rib and is longer from pole to pins. On the other hand, the cow with the right tail keeps as a close placing because she has a more desirable teat size, shape, and placement, noting the longer, wide-set funnel-shaped teats on two. One also has less patchiness about her hooks, pins, and thurls. In a more logical middle pair, one places over three for her advantage in cow power. She is much stronger in her front end, has more depth of heart and barrel, and is deeper in the flank. One is also more open in her conformation, having more openness to her rib and more sweep to both fore and rear rib. Additionally, one is more clean through her hock, and also I prefer the thorough placement on one, noting that three keeps her legs too far back, making her weak in the loin. 
To tip the scales even further, one is snugger in her fore udder and is more balanced to her udder floor, noting the heavy rear quarters on three. I recognize that three has more bloom throughout a higher, wider rear udder and has less set to the hock than the tall dairy cow. Finally, three gets the nod over four for her advantage in udder. Three has a decided advantage in fore udder as it tacks more neatly into the body wall. Additionally, three has a more desirable teat placement, noting the wide set teats on four. Still further, three has much more balance and symmetry to her udder, faulting four for being light on her left side. Moreover, three is wider in her rump and flatter over her tail head, and she also steps down on a much stronger pastern with a shorter toe and deeper heel, complemented by a steeper foot angle. I recognize that four is much cleaner in her hock and has a more desirable thorough placement because three keeps her legs too far back. However, I feel justified in leaving four last because she lacks the overall shapeliness to her udder and size and substance to merit a higher placing. These then are my reasons for placing this class of Guernsey four-year-old cows, two, one, three, four. Two, one, four, three is my placing in this class of Holstein five-year-olds. Two leads out a handy winner as she's wearing the best udder in the class. In my top pair, two places over one where she's higher in her rear attachment and blends her forwarder more smoothly into the body wall. In addition, she has a decided advantage in size and scale where she's taller at the point of withers and is much longer and more stretchy from pole to pins. In addition, two is more level on out through the rump where she has a more nearly level slope from hooks to pins in light of the low pins on one. Still further, two stands more comfortably on her rear legs as she's stepping down in a stronger pastern and a shorter toe complemented by a deeper heel. I admit that one is a more clean cut and angular cow throughout. Next, one places over the stale cow on her advantage in stage of lactation. She is silkier in her thigh, more sharply chiseled through her hooks, pins, and thurls, and is cleaner on down her top line. Still further, one is longer and leaner in her neck and has more femininity about her head. Moreover, she has more bloom and capacity to her udder, being higher in her rear udder attachment and has more fullness and turn at the bottom of her rear quarters. I admit that four is a taller, longer cow who has a wider, more level rump. Finally, in a more logical decision, four places over the speckled cow with her tremendous advantage and youthfulness. She carries her more youthful udder higher above her hock and has a forwarder that is tied on more tightly to the body wall. Furthermore, she has more levelness upon the udder floor, noting the heavy front quarters on three. Furthermore, four is deeper in her heart girth, wider about her chest floor, and she carries this width on back to where she's much wider through her hooks, pins, and thurls. To tip the scales even further, she is tall at the point of withers, longer from head to tail, and blends more harmoniously from neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel, being especially much fuller in the crops. Still further, she stands more comfortably on her rear legs as she has less set to her hock and as her legs place more squarely beneath her thurls, faulting three for having her legs set too far back. I grant that three is a more clean cut and angular cow throughout, who is especially more in curving in her thigh and less patchy in the rump. And although, although I appreciate the angularity on three, I feel just in leaving her last today as she just lacks the soundness of udder and the style and balance throughout to earn a higher placing. These then are my reasons for this class of Holstein five-year-olds, which I place two, one, four, three. Three, one, four, two is my placing for this class of brown Swiss four-year-old cows. The dark cow logically sorts herself to the top of this class and easily places over one because she wears the best udder. She carries her udder higher above the hocks and is tighter about the forward or attachment. Additionally, she is higher and wider in the rear udder. Furthermore, three has less set to her leg and she steps out on a stronger pastern with a deeper heel and shorter toe. Moreover, she is deeper in the heart and has more depth, sweep, spring, and openness of both the fore and rear rib. 
I grant that one is a longer, stretchier cow from end to end who has more cleft through the rear rudder. Next, in a more logical placing, one easily places over four for her decided advantage in dariness and angularity. She's much longer and leaner through the throat and neck, more sharply chiseled over the withers and chine, is more prominent over her hooks and pins, and is also leaner and silkier in her thigh. Additionally, she has more sweep and openness through the rear rib. Furthermore, Juan is a taller, more upstanding cow who has more length and stretch from end to end. Additionally, she is deeper in the heart with more depth, sweep, spring, and openness about the fore and rear rib. Moreover, she has more crease through her rear rudder and she also keeps her tail set more neatly between her pins. I grant that four carries her rudder higher above her hocks and also has less set to her leg. And finally, in a much closer placing, four gets the nod over two for that advantage in youthfulness throughout. She carries her rudder higher above the hocks and is much higher and wider in the rear rudder attachment. Furthermore, she is snugger about the fore rudder and is also leveler on the udder floor, noticing the heavy rear quarters of two. Furthermore, she has more flex to the hock, faulting two for being straight in the leg. Additionally, four is stronger and straighter out over that top line, being especially harder in the loin. I grant that four I grant that two keeps us a close placing as she's a longer, stretchier cow from end to end with more crease through the rear rudder and she also keeps her tail set more neatly between her pins, but I feel justified in leaving her last because she lacks the usefulness and correctness of udder to merit a higher placing. These then are my reasons for placing this class of brown Swiss four-year-old cows, three, one, four, two.